Hi guys, welcome back. This is the weekly, it's going to be Valentine's weekend, so this is a special one. Weekly Love Soulmate Twin Flame reading for Leo and Virgo. Leo and Virgo. I'll do Leo first and then we'll transition into Virgo. Alright, so how are my Leo ins? Leo ins? My tigers. And oh, look at, and as I say, my Leo ins, look what falls out. Yeah, you're showing up with bells on, aren't you? Ready to get your message. <laughs> All right, Spirit, let's get some messages past, present, and future for my Leos. Leo, what's going on? What is going on, Leo? One more, Spirit. I need a future card for Leo. Oop, I got two. All right, that must be a clarifier, so I'll take it. All right, so Leo, I believe that last week we let off with you guys were going through some romantic stuff too. I'm pretty sure everybody was. All right, so in the past, we have the lover's card in reverse, okay? This is Gemini, if that resonates with you. It doesn't have to. It's also um, love, of course, true soulmate love. But it's in the reverse, so maybe you were disenchanted, or maybe you you weren't feeling the love. I'm hearing I wasn't feeling the love, okay? And it's funny how some a lot of people have given up, is what I'm hearing. It's like, yeah, I was fighting hard for that lover's card, and now I could give two shits, because why? Where am I sitting at now? Eight of pentacles in reverse. I ain't working on it. I'm tired. Why? Because in the near future, you feel like you're still left out in the cold. You're still begging for nuggets or crumbs. You want equal give and take, equal reciprocity. You're tired of this whole five of pentacles shit and ready to move on to the six. Okay? So let's get some clarifiers for you. Leo. Leo from February 15th to the 22nd. Valentine's Day weekend, the lover's card, you got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright in the past. So, okay, so this is a new beginning. This is this is the karmic wheel coming around and revisiting this love romance interest. Okay, so what happened? Yeah, all right. So under the new moon, you found out about a contract. Oh, go figure. Is this a soulmate contract? This is the strength card. Leo. All right, so it's in the reverse. This is what I have. I have the lovers in reverse. I have the wheel of fortune in the upright. I've got the moon in the upright. I've got the high priest, I think, in the upright. But I've got the strength card in reverse. Okay, so the new moon, or the moon energy represents Cancer or Pisces in my book. Not everybody reads it that way. However, it's also about your shadow side. It's about... The hand behind the curtain. Sometimes it's literally, you don't know what's going on in your own universe because there is divine occurrences, divine help, divine stuff happening in the background. Don't mind the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. For others of you, this is just shadow time. It's like, I don't understand. I have no knowledge or not enough knowledge about this relationship, this contract. And I'm not feeling like myself. I'm not feeling strong enough to move into the present with this Eight of Cups in reverse. The unwillingness to work at it. Alright, so, and we've got the Nine of Swords on the bottom. Okay, so you're stressing. Leo, stop your stressing. Yeah, okay, so the Justice card is in reverse. There still isn't balance. That's why that Six of Pentacles is in the future. And you're confused and disillusioned. You don't know what to do about the situation. You're wanting your counterpart to contact you, talk to you, or reciprocate whatever you've already put out there. That's too many. Can I get one more clarifier on the Seven of Cups, please? Thank you. Yeah, it's about the Knight of Wands. It's about bad behavior in the past. 
See, the Knight of Wands could show up in the future, and I would look at it as a good card because my spirit guides have told me that the Knight of Wands is a good thing now. He's not a player anymore. He's changed. So your divine counterpart, male, masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. Whoever is watching the video, if it's, it's your counterpart, it's who's on your heart and mind. You are confused, disillusioned, and probably fantasizing a lot <laughs> about this Knight of Wands. But it's a conundrum for you. The reason it's a conundrum is because in the past he showed up in your life, or she, passionately disrupting everything, making promises they never kept, galloping in and galloping out just as fast as they came in. So on the bottom of the deck, clarifying your now is the High Priestess in Reverse. High Priestess in Reverse means you're now able to communicate if you need to. But you're unclear. You don't trust your intuition. You're not trusting your intuition enough about the communication and the willingness to plan for your future. All right, so let's get clarifiers on the Six of Pentacles, even though I really don't need it. But perhaps, perhaps Leo does. So, Spirit, can we get a clarifier? Thank you. Oh, I hate when they go clear across the damn floor. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. So, Spirit's saying in the future, you know, you need to just kind of do you for a little while. All right? If you're not getting movement from this five to the six of pentacles, just go into the nine of pentacles, baby. You just go in and you become the most beautiful, gorgeous, self-assured, self-developed person that you can be. Single and fabulous. I'm going to get some more clarifiers, though, because I don't think you're going to stay that way for long. What happens when... My Leos step into this Nine of Pentacles energy. How many did we get? Four? I'll take four. I'll take four. All right. So, dun, 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 dun. if you step into your Nine of Pentacles, you will heal your heart and there will be a release of third-party situations or just some really, really icky, painful memories. What happens next? Then you can manifest from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Your partner shows up and you guys build it together. If you build it, they will come. Okay? And then you're going to get your clarity. You're going to get your commitment. You're going to get your victory. You're going to get all of that truth. And then you're not going to have to guard yourself anymore. Okay? You're going to come out of this uh, Seven of Wands energy. Seven's inner conflict. You're going to come out of that inner conflict about what? What's on the bottom of the deck? About the Two of Cups. Oh, and the Ace of Cups. And the Page of Swords. And the World. And the Ten of Cups. It goes on and on. I'm just here to tell you, Leo, it's going to turn out fine. Please hang in there. Please. Nothing but beautiful stuff here. But there's a lot of karma that you're working through, that they're working through. And it takes time. It takes a lot of time. But you got the completion of a cycle. You got the Page of Swords in reverse. Huh? Is it, was it in reverse? I don't think it was. I think I laid it down in the reverse. We'll put that in the upright. We'll put the world in the upright too. I think I laid them down wrong. Because everything looked like it was in the upright but the Seven of Wands. So yeah, you know, you got to love yourself first. Your cup has to be full completely before you can share it and bring it to your divine counterpart. They're being drawn towards you. They're watching you. They're wanting to communicate. They're wanting a new beginning, this old cycle to end so that they can have their happily ever after with you. You, Leo, because you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in the future, along with the Three of Swords in the reverse. 
the Ace of Swords in the upright, the Seven of Wands in the reverse. I got the hiccups. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what gave me the hiccups. You guys got me excited, Leo. All right, Spirit, can we get some cards for my Leos? Can we get some cards for my Leos? Romance cards from the 15th to the 22nd. Valentine's Day weekend. What kind of weekend and week can they look forward to? Do I do it one more, Spirit? Let's try one more time. Ooh, that one wanted to. That well, if it's meant to, it will. I'm going to do it one more just for you guys, okay? Not taking all those, Spirit. Ain't doing it. But I will take this, and I'm going to do one more pass because we know you're in love, Leo, and we know it's going someplace. So we need to see. We need information, don't we? Last round, Spirit. Last round to communicate. With the Romance Angels for my Leo's last round. I think we're good. Okay. I'm just going to cut them for the last message. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I cut for that because I was having a hard time deciding which card. Because I saw like three of them. All right. So, bump it da What did we get? We got very soon. New love. Give your relationship a chance, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, keep an open mind, and codependency in the reverse. It, I, I don't usually take these in the reverse, but Spirit says I need to today. So, codependency is a thing of the past, and if it's not, it needs to be. Got it? Are we on the same page? Then, keep an open mind because your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. They're changed. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, we honestly need to talk in person. We need to talk. And you've got all these swords, you know, clarity. And, and it's all here for you. It's going to happen. It just ain't happening in the, in the next week, okay? I'm here to tell you, it's going to take longer than a week. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I think they're going to come at you. You're going to talk. You're going to decide whether or not they're good for you. You're going to see, you're going to make them show you whether or not they've truly changed. And then you're going to get new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings because they're not the same person that they used to be. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Decide and let go of control issues. Okay? All right, Leo, that is your weekly reading. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys get flowers. Hope you get chocolate. If you don't, go buy yourself some because you're worth it. You're worth it. Did you hear that? I said you're worth it. All right, moving on. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. If you um, aren't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And, uh, you know, all that happy stuff. Comment. Um, I'm trying to start a new life. If you want to support me or help me in any way, you know, I don't like to beg for anything, so I'm not going to beg or stick my hand out. But I will say that um, I will work hard for you if you need my help. And hopefully there is an exchange there that can help me to build a bigger, brighter, better future. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on. We are now at Virgo. Virgo. I've got Virgo rising. What's going on with... No. No. Sorry, Virgo. That's way too much. Spirit. Let's do Virgo. Okay, I'm going to do three shuffles. One. Because the cards are being spunky. Two. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so we need a past card for recent past for my Virgos. What happened recently in the past with my Virgos in regards to love and romance? What happened in the now? What's going on in the world right now? That's too many cards, Spirit. What's going on in the world around them right now? What are the Virgos doing in romance? Spirit, too many cards. Too many. Virgo, cool your jets. <laughs> All right, 
Come on, Spirit. We just need one card. One card. One card. Thank you. All right. Now let's go to the near future. What's happening in the near future? Come my Virgo. We got two for the future. All right. So let's turn them over and see what they mean. Sorry about the messy hair. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Nobody's working on shit this week. What's going on? Seriously, this is like the fourth sign I've had the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, I ain't working on this. I'm done. Done. Not polishing this pentacle anymore. <laughs> but now, in the now, you've got a bright, shiny pentacle in your hand. So if you didn't work on it, who did? Virgo. Who worked on that? Who's bringing that pentacle? I'm going to do... Okay, thank you. Now I need some for the Page of Pentacles. What's going on with the Page of Pentacles in my Virgo's world? In the now, what's happening with the Page of Pentacles? What's happening with the Page of Pentacles? Give me a clarifier, please, Spirit. A clarifier for the Page. Too many cards, Spirit. Can't do it. I've seen the tower twice in the reverse, though. Might have to take that if it shows up again. Virgo, 15th through the 22nd of February. What is going on with Virgo? What is going on in the present for Virgo? Thank you. Oh, ha. Huh. Okay, Spirit, I'm going to spin it. Thank you. I didn't know if it needed to be in the upright or down position. Wow. I'm not taking that. All right, so I have the Page of Pentacles, which is an offer. It's a stable, sound, sturdy offer. Secure. You can bite it. You can touch it. It's tangible. It's not in the 5D. It's not a text. It's not. It's it's in the real. Okay, it's going to be face to face. And then we got the Ace of Pentacles, clarifying it. And then we got the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Who is this Queen and Page of Pentacles? Who is it? Who is it? Is this the masculine or feminine? I'm getting clarifiers, but I'm not getting like... Is this the feminine or the masculine? Feminine or masculine spirit? Who does this represent? Who's bringing the page? Oh, there's three, four of them. Oh, okay. So this is the masculine. All right. This is what I've got. We've got the Nine of Cups on the bottom, clarifying the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and I asked, who is it? Who is it? And the Emperor fell out alongside the Magician. So this is the Masculine bringing you an offer, a tangible, honest-to-God, secure offer. It's going to take a while. It's not going to happen like that. Okay? But it is big. Okay? Big. And it's for his queen. And he's going to win the battle. Well, at least the, I'm hearing win the battle, not the war. There's still work to be done, but this is good, guys. This is really good. Over this weekend, you might actually get something real. Okay, because you got the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about, we've got Cups here, which is because it's a romance, but we've also got uh, Earth, Fire. We got everybody on the board. Everybody. But the Four of Cups is about boredom. It's about not seeing clearly what's truly up for offer. It's kind of like going to buy a car without driving it. <laughs> you know, it's like you're not sure if you like it. You're checking it out. You're looking at it. But until you put the key in it and take it for a spin, you just ain't biting. All right, but the masculine's holding tight. What is he holding tight to? His feminine who has now ghost... I'm even hearing... I don't know why, okay, Virgo, but I'm hearing that you got single. All right, or you got fabulous, or you got beautiful, or you got something really good going on with you. 
and your masculine wants to be part of that and he's not going to let go of you okay that's why we've got the ace that's why we've got the page of pentacles and you know it could be because you got a lot of water and a lot of earth so it feels to me like a stable balanced emotion balance you know security balance i'm hearing balance i'm hearing balance and it's all about this wish fulfillment he's willing to work for it and it looks like his feminine has kind of stepped out i'm hearing i'm coming out i want the world to know i got to let it show i'm i'm coming out <laughs> Yes, spirit talks to me in song. Ooh. I didn't even ask a question, spirit, but I was about to clarify the four of swords and the three of pentacles. Okay, so we've got uh -huh, four of swords, healing. It's getting on your feet again is what I'm hearing. Getting back on your feet again after an illness or a break or prayer, meditation, whatever. But then you got the three of pentacles. It is a three. Now, is it not? And then clarifying the three of pentacles, we've got the nine of swords and we've got the three of cups. When I get two threes in one row, it's usually somebody else in the mix or something else. If it's not a person, it could very well be, you know, maybe they're, they have addictions that comes between you or there is a child that comes between you or there is... A job that comes between you but I'm hearing it's another woman and it stresses the shit out of you because you are the queen of Pentacles are you not where is your king the king is on the bottom of the deck so I need an outcome card we can't end on a nine of swords can't do it yeah, chariot. Okay, so you got a lot of water here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And you've got a lot of pentacles, which is Earth. You do have some fire and some swords. But I don't see, they're not archetypes. There is no sword, there's no king, there's no queen, there's no knight, there's no swords. So we have no swords on the board. So it's going to be possibly... An earth sign, a Leo, because we have the strength card, or it's going to be a water, area, or, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Huh, okay, so, but this is the balance of the yin and yang. This is the masculine and feminine. It's the boyfriend, it's the girlfriend. It's the energies balancing out their masculine and feminine and forward victorious movement. Toward what? I turn the deck over towards your wish fulfillment. Bada bing. Okay, you guys can rewind that if you want to watch it again. Because clarifying anything else is probably a moot point. When you get the chariot, you take it and you run with it. Okay, so Virgo. It looks very promising. Wish fulfillment's on the table. Stability, security, a solid offer is on the table. Okay, and the <laughs> oh my god spirits wanting to give you every single card in the deck for my virgos one more shuffle for the virgos for the week of the 15th of february through the 22nd valentine's day weekend what do we need to know romance angels all right i didn't get anything else so i stop what do I have on the bottom? I have the Religious Factor card, which is my Twin Flame Soulmate card in this deck. Okay, because it says Religious Factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, you're destined. It's your spiritual path. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I assign that to. It also has a secondary meaning. It could be that the person that you're in love with or the person you're thinking about doesn't have the same belief systems as you do. Maybe you're spiritual and they're uh... some weird shit happening in the room, guys. Sorry, I feel a presence. 
and my camera's been or light's been like flickering. I'm getting a Jacob or a Jake and a Patty, Pat, Pat, Patrick. I'm not sure, masculine or feminine. I don't know, they just came right in. And the message I'm getting is stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. I don't see any deceit here. I mean, other than the third party situation, which I think you know about. So what are we lying to ourselves about? What were we talking about? We are talking about the religious factors. I don't know what it means, guys. I don't know what it means. They're not coming like clear and telling me what their message is other than stop lying to yourself. Maybe that resonates with you. Hmm. Let's see what the rest of the cards say. Maybe it's in here. Yeah. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Hmm. 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 What signs? I'm going to have to throw a clarifier. This says it's safe for you to love. That's good. That isn't the red flag, at least. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so I'm getting two messages here. and There's a Pat or Patricia, Patrick. They're saying stop lying to yourself. If you know this name and it resonates with you, I feel what they're saying is that whatever you've been trying to convince yourself, you need to take a second look. Probably that's why the Nine of Swords are here, because you've been overthinking, overanalyzing everything. You also have the Four of Cups, which is almost missing an opportunity. So it could be, and I kind of feel like Spirit saying, don't miss the opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. This is a gift. It's a gift, and it's a solid gift. you got the Ace of Pentacles. you got the Queen and the King and the Nine I don't even want to go through it all, but you got a lot of pentacles. <laughs> you got a lot of love here, too. You've got the two, the nine, and the three, and the chariot. So, I'm hearing that Pat wants you to know that, they, that he, I'm hearing he, it must be a Patrick. My hand's itching. I feel money, guys. Somebody's going to come in with some money. Virgo, there's money coming from you. Patrick's saying, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the red flags. Unrequited love. It's safe for you to love. I think you're doubting. I think you're doubting that there's enough love in this relationship. You're not wanting to work on the Eight of Pentacles. You're not wanting to do the work. You possibly might be worried and wanting to walk away from the whole situation and be your fabulous self. So you might be moving away because of the third party situation. But you got the Three of Pentacles in the upright, which is a willingness to partner and to work on it. And it's safe for you to love. Let your friends help you. So perhaps your friends will freaking hook you up on a date. Maybe, because I do feel like you knew this person in the past, maybe your friends will do something sly. Like, mm, I know so-and-so like so-and-so. And there's a party Friday night for Valentine's Day. You invite her and I'll invite him and we'll see what magic happens. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just hypothesizing. That's not a direct message from Spirit. But Virgo, it looks really good. Pay attention to the red flags. Trust your instincts. 
I will throw a clarifier just because. Who is the unrequited love? All right, so I got, <laughs> I've got the Knight of Swords, and I've got the Judgment card, and I've got, again, the Strength card in the upright this time as a clarifier, and I've got the Queen of Cups on the bottom. So what I'm hearing is that you need to choose. It's like so weird. Everybody needs to choose. Maybe this third-party situation is your third-party situation. And you need to choose. But it's it's almost like you're going to get communication and clarity. And then you're going to have to have the strength to call the judgment call. You're going to have to choose. And Spirit has been giving you all kinds of signs from heaven to let you know what choice you truly need to, to, to choose. Okay? And they're telling you that if you're worried about unrequited love, It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. And this is your soul's spiritual path. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. There's a lot of pentacles here. I got the three of pentacles twice. So that's definitely willing to work on the, the union. So I'm not going to clarify anymore. I think you guys got your reading. Everything's going to work out. But you are going to have to pass judgment. You have to choose whether this person gets resurrected from the dead and breathe new life. Or if you're going to cut them away and move on. And you're going to have to have a lot of strength to do it. But Spirit's saying pay attention to the red flags because they've been giving you, Pat's been giving you messages. I don't know who Pat is. <laughs> He's not telling me. But he says, we are trying to show you the way. I'm, I'm in my head seeing fingers, arrows. We're guiding you. I'm hearing we're guiding you. We are guiding you. Pay attention to the red flags. And with the unre I'm going to throw one on the unrequited love, too. What is this unrequited love? What is it? Who is it? Who is the unrequited love? And is it really unrequited? Is there a fix? Uh, we got the Knight of Cups. We got the King of Cups. And we got the Victory Ace of Swords. This is just beautiful, guys. you got to pay attention to the flags. The The unrequited love is the love that, that, that you're feeling toward your masculine or feminine and it's real it's like it's real it's real it's real bridge over troubled waters okay it's a six of swords it's moving into better times a more promising future it could literally be going across the ocean you know traveling but in this deck it's a bridge over troubled waters. All your troubles are underneath you now and you have a wand in your hand moving forward. So this is beautiful. I wouldn't stress about the unrequited love. Why? Because look what's on the bottom. The Ace of Cups, okay? And the Emperor. <laughs> and the Star. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I love you. Let's toss you. Oh, no, we already did that. We're done. We are done. Virgo. It's going to work out. Hold your breath. Not really. Breathe. They love you. And you know it. Just saying. It's your spiritual journey. Namaste. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you want to go deeper, if you want to dive deep, let me know because I am here for you and I'm trying to manifest money for my bright beautiful new life if you can contribute to that please feel free if you can't just hit the thumbs up and share because that's plenty okay I love you goodbye see you next week happy Valentine's Day <laughs>